Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back. What I've got here is a 1910 Lodge frying pan, and my wife, bless her heart, she made beef stroganoff for me last night, <clears throat> and it uh, kind of messed the pan up a little bit. See that uh, kind of a brown color there? So she put some salt in it this morning. So I've got my chain mail here that we bought. I'm going to see if I can't get this thing. Ah, yeah, it's coming loose. This is uh, using salt to, uh... wow, that stuff. That stuff got baked on there pretty good. Now I got some of that brown off there, but there's a, there's an area in here that uh, really got scald, uh, scorched. And it's uh, not wanting to cooperate real well. Huh. Let me uh, clean that out. Excuse the mess. But uh, now she did this last. I started to do this, I think, this morning. And, uh, got a little bored before going to work. I'm going in a little early today, so I gotta get a... Gotta get some paperwork done up for, uh... Forklift license. Used to, you didn't have to have those things, but... You do now, but that's that's using just salt, and uh, I'm using a, this chain mail that I had uh, gotten from Amazon a while back. I've had it for oh three or four years. But uh, I figure. Get this taken care of for her before she gets home. That way she doesn't have to fool with it. This uh, this old skillet belonged to her. I want to say either her great aunt or her great grandmother. I'd, I'll have to ask her. I don't know for sure, but uh, just got a couple of really stubborn spots to get. Scraped off here. Let me uh, rinse the chain mail off again. And of course, the reason I'm going ahead and using this method, of course, she already had the salt, and she said, uh, "Try to get ahead of this." But she already had the salt in it. She told me she tried to boil it out. And it didn't uh, didn't work too well. And just, I do have a stubborn spot right there. I figure I keep at it long enough. There it goes. Just like everything else, you got to work at it. And then I'll heat the old skillet back up and get it warm, and then put some more uh, oil in it. And uh, that should take care of it. Let's rinse that off again. Well, there's a number of different options that a that a person can use to clean these things. There's no right or wrong answers, I guess. It's just whatever works for you. It just so happens that she already had uh, the salt in it so that's why I went ahead and continued with it but I can already tell you it's looking a whole lot better there's that one little problem spot right there I thought I had it there it goes all right looks like I've got a It did damage my uh, seasoning, so I am going to have to heat this little jewel back up and do some bacon frying. 
try to repair that missing seasoning. But we got that problem cleaned up. Like I said, I just gotta warm it back up and get the seasoning on it and redo it. Oh, that's not the that's not the lodge. Ah, that's a well, it is an old lodge. It's just not the 1917 lodge. It's the one from the 60s. This is the uh, 1910 lodge. And uh, it needs to be uh, wiped off and oiled again, too. I restored that lodge, that 1910 lodge. I think it's, I think we've had three years now. Anyway, that's that's uh that's cleaning a pan using salt and that chain mail. I mean it works. There's other methods that people like to use. Some people will boil hot water and use their spatula to scrape it out, and that's what we normally do. But this here, I guess, uh, I don't know what she did differently that caused that uh, those noodles to get stuck on there like that. Because normally we don't ever have an issue with. Uh, things sticking to the pan. So anyway, I'm going to bring this video to a close. It's just kind of a little helpy helperton kind of thing. Uh, we're fixing to uh, get ready and make another trip out to the camper. Maybe this time I'll get motivated and do some cool things and get them on video. But anyway, you guys have a great week and I will catch you on the next video.